Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we're going to be looking at shares outstanding. As I do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos, I'll show you the definition and then I will go into showing you the actual examples and what it can do for you. First, let's start with the definition. Shares outstanding refers to all shares currently owned by stockholders, company officials, which would be known as a restricted stock, and investors in the public domain, that would be you and I, but does not include shares repurchased by a company, which becomes treasury stock. The number of shares outstanding is listed on the company's balance sheet as capital stock and is reported on the company's quarterly filings with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The number of shares outstanding can also be found on the capital section of a company's annual report. Shares outstanding is used in the market capitaliz capitalization formula, the earnings per share formula, as well as dividend calculations. Okay, we're going to start looking at a couple of examples. I am on the Yahoo Finance page looking at Wells Fargo and Company. Uh, you can find this information I'm going to show you just about anywhere. Um, you can find it, like I said, on Yahoo Finance, Google Finance. Most of you guys are going to be looking at your discount broker. They will have the balance sheet information. That's what you're going to be looking for uh, when you go to find this particular bit of information. So let's scroll down here right quick and get to the bottom here. Move over there. Okay. Get the tools. All right. Shares outstanding. 5.2 billion. Okay. Uh, again, note that it is different than the float. That's an important piece of information there. Uh, and again, this is on the, the uh, key statistics of Yahoo Finance. I've already looked at the company's balance sheet, which is typically where you'd go to find this information. And on Yahoo Finance, they don't have the, the uh, complete balance sheet there. Uh, so that's just one of the negatives of Yahoo Finance. They're not really known for having the most complete uh, financial data on companies. Uh, so what I did is I just went to uh, Google Finance. So let's go to that right quick. Okay, here we are on the Google Finance page looking at Wells Fargo and Company. And we are on the balance sheet. Let's just go ahead and move on down. We're actually on the quarterly data. So let's go on down here. And you can see we have, let me get this out right there, the total common uh, shares outstanding. And let me move that. And let's go over here a little bit so you can see that. And it's 5.275, which would round to 5.3 billion. Okay? So that's where you can find this particular information. To find the shares outstanding, uh, investors may look at the most recent 10Q or the 10K issued by the company. Uh, the number should be within the introductory section up near the address and official name. It can also be found in the shareholders' equity portion of the balance sheet, which I've just shown you. Uh, the number will likely fluctuate over time as the company sells more shares, buys back shares, or retires shares. Now, it should also be noted, it could be a red flag if the company's outstanding shares count rises faster than 5% per year. If shares outstanding increases too much, especially if increasing at a faster rate than, and then revenue or earnings, uh, current shareholders are actually being diluted by the new shares and owning smaller and smaller pieces of the company. And now you know. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.